Some of the most common error messages you'll receive in Excel are the least understandable. People often have no idea what they mean just based on how they appear, so they don't know what to do to address them. Looking at them one at a time, we have div slash zero, which means that you tried to divide by zero. n slash a means that the formula or a function inside the formula can't find the reference data. Name with a question mark tells us that text in the formula is not recognized. Null with an exclamation point means that a space or a comma was used in formulas that reference multiple ranges or cells. Num with an exclamation point means that the formula has invalid numeric data or you've asked Excel to perform an impossible calculation. Ref with an exclamation point means that there's a reference in the cell that's invalid. And value with an exclamation point means that the wrong type of operation or function argument is used. And in this workbook, we'll look at an example of each one. First, on the Divide by Zero tab, a calculation has been set up to determine the percentage of total sales represented by each of the sales divisions of a company. In cell E4, we see that I'm dividing cells D4 by D7. However, because there was no absolute reference established in the first formula, which would have made cell D7 a constant in each copy of the formula, as the formula was paste-filled down the list, it reaches a point where the sales numbers are being divided by empty cells, and thus by zero, which results in the error. And, of course, the second iteration of the formula gives the wrong answer because it's dividing the European sales by the average sales, not the total. Correcting the first formula to use an absolute reference for the total sales numbers solves this. As you can see, now each iteration of the formula goes back to the total, back to the total sales number, so each division's percentage is correct. We cover absolute references in another of our videos, but if you're not familiar with them, the other solution is to create each sales division's percentage individually and not use paste fill, which eliminates the problem too. Or, if you want to use paste fill, edit each iteration manually to divide by cell D7. On the NA or non-applicable tab, we see an error that almost exclusively appears whenever you're working with data. Excel worksheet content stored as a list of fields and records. In this demonstration, I'm using a VLOOKUP function to display the dates for individual employees' performance reviews. When I enter a name that's not in the list, the error appears. This error message is most often found in database functions like VLOOKUP, where Excel is unable to find the data referenced in one or more of the function's arguments. Of course, in real life, this list of names would not be right next to the VLOOKUP. It would be on another worksheet or in another workbook, invisible to the VLOOKUP user. This makes the error even more confusing when it appears in a real-world situation. On the Name tab, a simple typo in the function name is the culprit. In attempting to use the COUNTIF function, I've added an extra F to the spelling of the function name, and Excel displays the name error as a result. Editing the formula to correct the typo fixes it. This error also appears if you have a typo in the name of a cell when referenced in a formula. Whenever you've used the name box to give the cell a name, rather than just referring to it by its cell address, you must carefully type the name, or select it from a list, whenever you use it in a formula. As you can see here in cell C19, I've calculated the percentage that Monday's hours worked represent for the whole week. The formula references the name I've given cell J15, Gross Compensation, 
with an underscore, as cell names can't have spaces in them. If I repeat that for Tuesday in cell D19, and type the name and forget the underscore or otherwise misspell it, the name error appears. On the Null tab, we see what happens when a cell range is improperly referenced. Instead of a colon, which indicates a range of contiguous cells, we have a space in the formula, and that's caused the error. A comma could also have caused the same problem if you're not using a function and therefore have no need to separate arguments. Fixing that by either typing the colon manually or reselecting the range with my mouse and thus letting Excel insert the required colon, solves the problem. On the Num tab, we're calculating square roots. This particular error only appears if you ask Excel to perform an impossible calculation, such as determining the square root of a negative number. The SQRT function works just fine until it hits cell C7 and then it displays an error. On the Ref tab, we've used a separate sheet as the source for the pay rate data. The formula that references that external source works just fine, until I delete the tab containing that data. When I do, all of the formulas that used to display correct answers change to the Ref error. Whenever you get this error, look for missing cells, ranges, or worksheets referenced in your formula. That's usually the cause. On the Value tab, a cell in the formula contains a word rather than a number, and given the nature of the formula, that won't work. This happens a lot when people move labels, the cells containing the identifiers for adjacent cells containing numbers, and then the label ends up in the formula. Here, the cell that used to contain the total hours worked, cell I-17, now contains the word total, which produces the value error. The fix? Either move the label out of cell I-17 and restore the number to that cell, or update the formula that references I-17 and make it look for the number in I-18 instead. <laughs>